Guys, if I wasn't married and you were into me, I would take you. <risos> and cook me all day long. <risos> Oi, eu sou a Má e hoje eu convidei alguns dos meus amigos gringos para provar pratos com o nosso bom e velho amigo de todos os dias praticamente no Brasil, o um feijãozinho, não é mesmo? Não sei se vocês sabem, mas aqui por esses lados, na Irlanda, na Inglaterra, o jeito mais comum de se comer feijão é no café da manhã tradicional deles, o English Breakfast ou o Irish Breakfast. E é um feijão quase que doce. Ele vem num molinho de tomate e ele não é exatamente salgado, mas também não é exatamente doce. Então vocês imaginam como os gringos ficaram de boca aberta quando eles viram feijão tropeiro, caldinho de feijão, nosso tradicional PF de arroz com feijão e claro que não podia faltar uma feijoadinha, não é mesmo? Então vamos relembrar agora o que, que os nossos amigos gringos acharam quando eles comeram nosso feijão pela primeira vez. Feijão trepeiro. Feijão. Feijão. Tropeiro. <risos> Aqui na Irlanda, nós não temos nada parecido. Nada. Ó, é feijão. Sim, tem tem que falar na mão. Não, não. Não, é a primeira vez que eu não vou aprovar. Está lista. Lista. <risos> Oh, parece crocante. Sim. Ok, so John, tell yes. us, where, where did you try feijão tropeiro? What's the story? Uh, I used to work in a college before where we had a super cool lady called Anna who was making some uh, Brazilian dishes for lunch and selling them in the college. And she was making an excellent feijão tropeiro. I have to tell you something about this. Okay. I'll tell you a story. The look of it reminds me something Greek. The, the way it looks like now, like this, it's very similar to what we give um, after funerals. This is, a, we call it koliva. We, we make it with uh, barley uh, and walnuts and icing sugar. Uh, what's the fruits? Um, pomegranate. 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 Um, it's delicious, I'm telling you. It's the, it's the best thing in a funeral. <laughs> Yours is sweet? Yes, yes, it's sweet. Because they add the icing sugar and they add uh, like some fruits and nuts as well. So it makes it like a bit sweet, like the sugar as well, definitely. So let's take a look and you show us your food. Yes, of course, it's a bit hot, but yes. Oh. It looks like popcorn. No, it does. Let's see if Maggie is going to like it as well. I'll try Mmm. Mmm. It's good, no? It's feijoada mixed with beans and salt. Oh my god, stop comparing everything to feijoada. Beans, they don't eat just feijoada. <laughs> beans, beans, not feijoada. Okay, we have beans. Onions, scallions. Uh, pork. Pork, that could be... Farofa. Farofa. The mm. pork could be a sausage here as well. Could be a sausage, Maybe in, chocolate. Yeah. Mm. Okay. 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 Nossa! Nossa! Oh, wow! Que que tem isso? Feijão tropeiro, ele é tradicional de Minas Gerais. Ele é um feijão com, com farofa, calabresa e bacon. Hum, oh, bacon tem o melhor pai. É gostoso, né? Nossa, muito gostoso. Muito bom. Bueno. Eu acho que eu comi uma vez, mas eu não sabia o que, que era. Então eu nunca soube como pedir, sabe, de novo, para comer de novo. Hum. That's the stuff, guys. Thank you. It's muito salty. Não, you too picky. It's nice, no? It is very, very, very nice. I love it. Okay, just turn off the camera for a second, okay? You're <laughs> done <laughs> here. Nice to meet you all. Hashtag baby John. <laughs> I'm just gonna take this here. <clears throat> While you cold, so, we can have a chat. I'm just having my dinner. I see that that's, uh, that's uh, one of the favorites there, yeah? It's very yes. nice, yeah. It's very good. In what ways do you usually eat mm -hmm. beans in your country? Uh, well, it's considered the poor man's food, beans. Okay, it's like beans, but it's watery and it's like this th thick liquid. It's like what we had it's, in the previous video. It's nothing like that. Okay, so yeah. it's more like the soup. Yes, yes. Yeah. But we eat it with like onions on the side. We have beans in cassoulet, and I think that's we don't really eat beans that much in France. Not that I know, but maybe we do, and I we, we just don't have it in my family, you know. Cassoulet, delicious. Fasoule is amazing, but you know that it's better if you have a nice piece of bread with butter to end the sauce with that. Like I said, like you know, many times we have familiar um, dishes, like you know, and flavors like beans, sausages, pork, rice, you know, all these sort of things. We cook it differently. You guys cook it differently. 
but I like what I'm eating here. Like, you know, oh, I mean, what's the point? I don't want to taste something Greek here. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, yeah. that's the whole point here. I really, really like this. Yeah, food. I could eat this all the time. Yeah. Man. I yeah. could eat actually most of the stuff they had here, I could eat all the time. That comes from him. It means it was super good. I'm telling you. It's very, it's very good. To the yeah. And every time we close the camera, guys, Johnny goes for a second with another one. He is the hardest person to please when it comes to food. He's brutally honest as well. If he doesn't like it, he'll be like, mm, yeah, not my style, really. All right. right. Oh, finish. Me gusta. Oh, que bueno, chica. <laughs> Aí, quando eu fui morar no Brasil, eu fiquei apaixonada pela calabresa. Meu <laughs> Deus. <laughs> calabresa e bacon. Tem que ter em tudo, sabe? Milagro, quando a Lídia te falou da calabresa, parecia que você já, já conhecia. Você tem alguma coisa parecida no Panamá? Não. Não, não a conhecia. É a primeira ah. vez que ela veio aqui e combinada, mixada, está perfeita. Sim. So what's the score for, for the feijão tropeiro there? Ah, 10. Não dá 10, eu não vou. 11 out of 10. Really? Mm -hmm. I have to say 12 because I like it more than her. <laughs> Guys, say 13 then. Not say 20. 10. <laughs> Yeah, I'll give it, I'll give it full marks as well. Mm. Oh my god, the farofa yes. and that pork and the bean together, the meat is very good. And the scallions are very good for the digestion yeah. of. Them. We use scallions a lot in Ireland. Well, I suppose you wouldn't see it too much in Dublin, but we would put them in fries sometimes. And this time we're going to try PF. 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 <laughs> Seriously, we need, apart from the food, which is amazing, and we're not going to say no, we need Brazilian lessons, Portuguese lessons. So our protein today is the beautiful sunny side of egg there. You can make different versions of it, and people don't really know, like, where, what, what's, what is the orange oh, of the PF. But it started becoming more popular when the workers had to leave, uh, like, you know, the, the suburbs or the country to work in the big cities. And they needed to look for accommodation and places to eat, but restaurants were not really popular in Brazil back then. So they started serving this type of dishes, which had everything that they needed for the day, right? In one dish. So PF means prato feito. So ready meal or ready dish. Ah, I have no idea. What is it? <gasps> what, there's a banana with beans? Yes, what? rice. Mm. What is that? And is this the same thing that we just tried? I love it. Oh, it's banana! Yeah! It's fried banana. You see, I'm Irish. I don't wake up in the morning and say, Jesus Christ, you can't wait for some fried banana. I see an egg. <gasps> you had me there. You sold it to me. I love it. It's so cute. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, look at this beauty. I absolutely love what I'm seeing right, right now. Look at this. Too. Look at my happy face. You want to take a fork? I will take a fork. Thank you. Banana and egg. What am I doing with my life? That's amazing! Oh my god! Johnny, I think we need to move to Brazil. Forgive me if I don't talk during the video like that. You have farofa, banana, egg. But you eat banana with savory things. We do. Yeah? Banana with savory food. I didn't know about banana. I know we can eat apples or oranges or even pears in some savory dishes, but banana? I've never heard of it. Guys, if I wasn't married and you were into me, I would take you. <laughs> and cook me all day long. <laughs> That's okay, even if she's married, like, I don't mind it, you know? Have, Had you tried banana with savory food before? Never! In, in Ireland, the banana just belongs in a fruit bowl. Something you have before the gym to get your potassium into you, or fiber. I would definitely have that for breakfast, if I wasn't too lazy to cook. <laughs> for breakfast? <laughs> I'm so surprised by the banana. And do you like it? Do you like it? I banana? really like yeah, it. Yeah, it works well. Everything here, tastes so good, like fried banana and I egg. You, I think, yeah, this is the best you've done so far. <laughs> this is fantastic. That you're eating all these different flavors. If I was reading it on a menu, I'd be like, nah, I'll, I'll pass on, you know? And then it's like, I would pass on on this. I'm stupid. <laughs>
It's like all these flavors. Mwah! I'll give it 43 out of 10. <laughs> I'm sorry you'd be disappointed, Pedro, but I'll give it a 10 again. <laughs> <laughs> I would give it a 9 because I don't like beans. So, you know, you cooks <laughs> love everything. But all the rest is very good. And the banana part, big surprise, but I would have never thought about it, but it, it's amazing. Fantastic. This is unbelievable. And it is a big, huge 10 for me. Amazing. This is my favorite dish so far. Caldinho de fe feijão. Caldo de feijão. Caldinho de feijão. Feijão. Caldinho de feijão. Caldinho de feijão. Look, I brought my soup spoon. That's how prepared I am. Uh, and it's called Caldinho de feijão. Well, of course, in Brazil, we eat a lot of beans, as you guys know. Bing, so. Bing, bing. So this is a way to eat beans, and it's a bean soup, basically. So let's see what you think. Oh, and I think you got some toasts to have with it as well, from Anna. The toasts, we had them, but Johnny ate them on it. <laughs> Vivi can have that toast. But look. look. Very good. And it's so cute. The little note says, try with soup. Oh. Ah, garlic. But guys, just so you know, it's so weird because it looks like a dessert made of chocolate. Like, it really does. I, I don't know if I can. Look, it looks like chocolate. Hey, careful. It looks like a chocolate mousse. Okay. Oh, wow. The texture is different. Oh, yummy. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Let me have this. It smells like... Um... The fish water. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> I just put in your mouth. Eat. <laughs> That's what you she said. It's a drop of water. Oh, so good. It's like be beans with salami, I think. Or maybe pork. I don't know. Everything is salami to me. Oh, so I love beans. It's great, this is, this Greeks, is really good. Their national food is bean soup as well. Our national food is fasolada, which is a bean soup. Um, tastes different than this one, but we love beans. And Irish, come on. We, we, you eat beans like from day to like next day and <laughs> next morning and midnight and everything. This is really good. Yeah. Okay, first off, the texture is so thick. It's very tasty. When I opened it up first, I kind of imagined that it would fall out of the bowl, like, you know, if you're pouring, you know, uh, the sauce over feijoada, but it's so thick. It's, it's almost like a meal in itself. I, I don't know what makes it that thick though. This must take a long time to make. Mm. Yeah, I think it's just the way she cooks it that makes it really thick. And I think she blends some of the beans, you know, and then mix. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes. It's very nice. But, mm. Mm. It's weird how good it is. It's so creamy, you know? Oh, yeah, compared to the other creamy. ones that I've tried. Mm. Like a fish wada. There's a gosto of verdes aqui. Será que é cheirinho verde? Sim, cheiro verde, salsinha. Oh, oh. Is there bacon in it? Ai, bacon. Ah, tem bacon. Ai, tô sentindo bacon. Na parte melhor de tudo no Brasil, tem bacon. It's kind of like you're trying to play games with yourselves. Not even the rest of the world. It's just kind of like, okay, here's a load of brown stuff on the top. And then once you get underneath, there's bacon. And then there's some little, little bits of baby peppers. It's crazy. It's just crazy. I think You know what's funny? Um, back in the days when I was going to nightclubs in Brazil, and mm -hmm. you stay really late in the nightclub until like early in the morning. And then they would serve you uh, beans to kind of thing in the morning like they'll give you free soup everyone would go home you know feed really? you know, have like food in their belly yeah that's so cool oh, that's nice. that was a good nightclub so just right away from regular potatoes Colcannon, which is irish and this would be an epic um, adventure in culinary mm -hmm. it's so delicious guys it's so good i feel like i'm having breakfast again with my little baguette and my chocolate even though she had a huge amount for breakfast and yet she's still skinny it looks like it, it looks like breakfast we'll stay we'll stay <laughs> Oh, 
I'd give it a 10 because it's really nice. You could eat that all the time. It's mm. delicious. It's kind of like the feijoada. Give me the farofa and we just put it on top, yeah. like, you know. Oh, yes. Mm. Oh, definitely 10. Mm. Mm -hmm. 100%. Mm. Not a oh, 10. Nice. I'm sorry, but if I if were not forced to eat it, I would have never tried it because it looks weird. Oh, you want to minus a point just because it looks weird? I'm, I'm That's good. so discriminatory. Boom. Super judgy, like, mm. yes, no, that's what I want to say. <laughs> you discriminate him and you become judgmental. <laughs> 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, 11 out of 10. Um, it'll be 11 out of 10 as well, because um, if I add the Irish point on top of it, some scoops of potato. And before people start laughing at me, it's like, come on guys, you have rice with everything. That, that's our potato. You know, rice is potato, but it was rice. So, da 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 da, phenomenon. Okay. Let's do it. Feijoada. So, amigo, I bet you've tried feijoada before, right? Uh, yeah, millions of times. Let's see how this one compares. I'm a bear. Let's try. I'm a bear. Oh, oh wow. Can you imagine? This is for one person. Muito, 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 muito comida. You guys got a little farofa as well eat with your feijoada. Yes, we did. Farofa. There you go. It's the first thing the Brazilians talk about when they come here in Ireland. Always. Always. You have to try feijoada. I think, guys, this is the, my favorite thing you made from Brazil. Not on bananas. I love that. Are you supposed to eat it like that? I'd say there's no right and wrong with farofa, you know? I like that. I <laughs> amo muito farofa. Farofa. All right. Okay. Let's dig in feijoada. You have to mix everything, yeah? Yeah. Mm. Nossa, maravilhosa. Wow. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I've tried feijoada many times, guys. It's always different. And I am so looking forward to this one here. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, you gotta mix your, your rice. Mm -hmm. This is the thing, honestly, guys. Mm. This is why you talk about that all the time, guys. It's so she delicious. Now, is it made with pig's feet? If my mom was making it, she would definitely use pig's ears and feet and everything. And this is so, so good. So, 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 so good. This is your favorite Brazilian dish, yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 100%. I think so. I must say, I love feijão tropeiro as well. If you guys want to have us trying feijão tropeiro, by the way, let us know. Love that. I'd say feijão tropeiro one and second one feijoada. No, for me, the other way around. Feijoada and then feijão tropeiro. Mm. I don't know what she added in it, but I think it's actually the best one I had. And I tried about three or four different ones. And yeah, best one, honestly. Well done, Che. Oh, wow. There you go. <laughs> Do you know what? From an Irish perspective, if I was to make this dish and make it my own, I would dice up some onions and put this in with the shredded meat and the sausage. Um, just to kind of add another little sparkle to it. Now, how does this compare to other feijoadas you had then? And what's the score for this one? This is a big 10 out of 10. <laughs> De 1 a 10, qual que é a nota para essa feijoada, então? 10. 10, 10. 10 tá bem? <laughs> 1 to 10, what's the score? Oh, 20. Mm -hmm. It's so well cooked, guys. It's amazing. Do you eat anything similar in your countries? Yeah, I don't remember what it was called, but they, they take the, the sheep's intestines and they fill oh. and everything. I think it's called tachibab. It smells horrible, but it's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't sound really nice, but I would try it. <laughs> when you guys go to Albania, you have to try it. Definitely. We have something really popular, it's specific from Brittany, where I'm from, and it's called Andui de Gimne, and it's the intestines of the pig above each other, so it becomes like a big sausage at this size, and it's black, and it's smoked, and it's very, very nice, but it's really specific to Brittany, to Gimne, to be really precise. It tastes really peculiar. Either you love it or you hate it. Do you love it or do you hate it? I personally love it. You put that on crepes. Mm. <laughs> Você tem alguma coisa parecida no Panamá? Vocês comem arroz, feijão? Sim, sí, comemos eh, arroz, frijoles, pero los frijoles son frijoles con azúcar. Ah, sério? Sí, Doces sí. azucarados. Es uh -huh. nuevo para mí. Ah, sério? Sí. Sí. La carne, la preparación es diferente. Carne más frita. Feijoada, eles fazem numa panela de pressão. I bet that there are onions, but usually what happens is we add like garlic and onions at the beginning when we're cooking food, right? Oh, yeah. So they kind of melt. So you only get the flavor, but you don't get the texture. Ah. It's so soft that you may not even notice. But I bet it's definitely there because Brazilians add garlic and onions to everything. I know, I know, I know. That was what I was about to say. It's like the foundation of a house. It's like, why would you need cement and mortar when you have like farofa and garlic and onion? You know, like, I mean, that, that's <laughs> the foundation of your house in Brazil. Any house I've been in Brazil, there's two smells, garlic and gas. You know, the gas cylinder <laughs> just... <laughs> 
And it's yeah. just that genuine cooking sensation. In Ireland, it's not really common, right, amigo, for people watching to have like kitchens where you have gas stoves. Here, not, you have not so much. Yeah, it's more electric. We would have gas heaters, but they'd be from like from a mains supply as opposed to like a cylinder. You know, like a small yeah. little cylinder. Maybe years ago, in the '80s, when we were all cold and freezing, we would have used gas cylinders to heat ourselves because times weren't too good in the '80s in Ireland. We're good now, and we're welcoming our Brazilian friends to Ireland, and they're bringing me feijoada. Unbelievable! <laughs> I'm happy every day. I'm Absolutely. <laughs> so cute. Mm. But I love your guys' reaction to yeah. using test times. Because we have weird stuff happening in our countries as well. You're not the only one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This looks so delish. I can't wait to have mine. Oh, ma, I swear to God. I'm so sorry. You're enjoying yourself. Oh, so good. I want to ask something. Do you share with your mom? Does she try the food? No, she has no interest. The food delivery came and she was looking at all the post it notes and her face was like, uh, oh, no. If it's not Irish, she's not very experimental. <laughs> I love her, but you know, come on, ma'am. Don't, don't fear all the multi colored rainbow food it's okay maybe one day she'll try maybe yeah if i drip feed it to her <laughs> once again thank you so much for having us thank you guys beijinhos beijão beijão obrigado em problem gracias ciao